What's good, Stella King? It's your boy Alpha Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. That's what a BMG makes do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. And that's a fact. BMG got the city hot. Bow. Don't fuck around. Okay. And today I'm going to be reacting to a Math Hoffa interview with Rowdy Rebel. Shout out to Math Hoffa, by the way, man. I guess in this one they're going to be speaking on the situation with King Vaughn. So anyway, let's get straight into it and see what's going on. Because everybody talking about this one. I feel like everything is forced now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's like, uh, you gotta get back to that 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 fun side. Now. Facts. Right. Take the pressure off and just be like, yo, just having fun. Facts. I feel like being independent is gonna put you there. Yeah. But it's also it gonna wake up like your business mind. But it's gonna put you in a better place. You know, you're in the best position you ever been in, bro. Because you you at a position where it's like I got full control. Why this shit so I, low? I want it to go. How am I gonna make it go? And you you know what it's like to lead niggas. You seen the niggas that lead you led you the wrong way. You know the you know all everything you need to know to lead niggas the right way and to keep the money in. You got it though. Hey, you from Brooklyn? <laughs> you heard? Hey, you from Brooklyn? You heard? You from Brooklyn, nigga? You not from Queens? You from Brooklyn? You heard? Unfortunately, he's right. You are heard? Right. One, one important you know what thing. Said? One important thing I want to chime this in nigga on here. real quick yeah, before we wrap up. Um, <laughs> with all the murders and um, that you see going on in hip hop right now, with the killings with the young brothers and stuff. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about that? <laughs> my son. <laughs> my son look like, um, yeah. what's that nigga from the Spike Lee movie? Radio Raheem? Right now, like, you know, like, in the industry, they sign a lot of artists that's from the street. It's a thousand. And it feel like the more street you are and the more credibility you got, the more they want to sign that person jack because they don't want them fabricating shit. Right. You feel me? But I feel like as a street nigga, when we get into this shit, it's like we got to learn how to leave the streets behind us now. Right. That's what we get into this shit for, to still be street niggas. Mm -hmm. you know, like, I right, yeah, we talk about our shit and you feel me glorify our shit. But like, when we going to get to a point where like, all right, what we doing is constant. Yo, and I'm telling you niggas this because that's the point in life that I am at, you know what I'm saying? And like you see I don't I don't take like rap like serious the way cause Rowdy has a whole rap career and shit like that. So now it's no reason like you're not gonna hear me speak on certain shit via music as much. So like now it seems like like I'm just super old because they still speak about certain shit, they still say certain shit, so they seem like they're more hip. That's what that's what that's what old people say, right? They're more hip, you know what I'm saying, to the younger crowd and shit. Like, so I I think that this way of thinking comes with age, bro. When you get older, and especially when you get older, you didn't fucked up in life already. You didn't did all these things. You seen where it got you. Now you get older, you reflecting on what you used to be, how you used to be, and you seen like, yo, I put so much effort and time into being. A dickhead and it got me nowhere but jail or some people died you seen your friends died from doing this shit so now it's like damn son especially when you get some type of money now you start to see like yo damn i could have been doing this the whole time like niggas was really glorifying the fact that we buying the new strap and and, and and being on a block in the hood like i see niggas glorifying all the street shit and you they go live and then their crib look like shit. Like yo, bro, you went and bought 
five pairs of a Mary's this month. You didn't think to buy a new couch. You didn't think to buy a new bed. You didn't think to buy nothing. You just bought a Mary's and that's it. You go, so you're going to buy a Mary's. You got $1,000 jeans on, sleeping on bed with peace stains on it from when you was in the fourth grade. Like, come on, bro. That shit is not cool. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I feel like that that this mindset that he got right now comes with age, you feel me? They be doing this a lot, like, you know. They Facts. Be taking away from our mothers. <sighs> what we doing is just doing what they think we're supposed to be doing. Facts. Right now with me, like I just want money, bro. I wanna wake up early morning, sunset rides with my baby girl on a boat, five in the morning. I see the sunset rise five in the morning. You know that way yeah, they like yeah, yeah. big blunt like it's done no. Done no. Shake that off like <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah. Like, like, eat you out yeah. right here. Bang like, bang. Huh, you feel what I'm saying like right. Like when is that gonna be enough for us? Right. I mean, niggas glorify this gangster shit too much, bro. And niggas be pussy, bro. And this is coming from somebody that y'all know for sure was involved in the shit that y'all glorify. You feel me? Y'all niggas don't, y'all don't got to take it from me because y'all don't know as much of my background or whatever when it comes to the streets because it wasn't publicized like his shit. You know what I'm saying? But him saying the same exact shit that I'm saying now. Do y'all relate to it more? Do y'all embrace it more? Because y'all feel like, oh, you do YouTube. You don't feel like nigga street. So you don't take the information from me. But do y'all take it from him now that y'all know that these niggas was actually active and, and, and they was holding shit down for real when they got locked up and all that shit? Do you, do you niggas take it now? Big child. Some bright. Come holding on with a body and mother crib. Hold it on where it's like, I got 30000 I'm going to give my mom $10.30. You feel me? Like, right. keep 20 or give her 15 to keep it. Like, niggas, it's, it's not the same, bro. There's no morals in this shit. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, everybody that's dying nowadays because it's, it's, it's no nigga to be like, nah, my fault. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yo, get hot. Mm-hmm. When, 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 when King Vaughn died, Little Tim nigga, he didn't have to get out the car and start squeezing right away. Right. You already got your joint. Yo, back the fuck up. What y'all doing with? Yeah, back with my bro real quick. Right. For me, like. I mean, I agree and disagree to a certain extent because with the little Tim situation, right? I feel like he was protecting the bag. He could have got out and backed niggas down and say, "Yo, back up off my men." But from the information that I heard, he wasn't the only person there with a gun. There was other people shooting too. And also the police ended up shooting as well. So I don't feel like this the situation could have been worse on their end. Like King Vaughn could have been alive and what the hell just happened? King Vaughn could have been alive and what's his name could have died. You know what I'm saying? Rondo could have, that's his name, Quando Rondo, he could have died. And, or, 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 or Lil' Tim could have died backing it out, trying to, you know, flex on niggas and shit like that. You never know, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really just say, yo, he could have did this to distinguish the situation. That shit could have add fuel to the fire the same way him firing shots could have. Because imagine you got the strap and the nigga comes and ups it. Say, yo, back up off my mans. Nigga could blow you down. Because then look at it. Think about it. Quavo just died in this. I mean, Quavo. God forbid, man. Not Quavo. Um, Takeoff just passed away in the same similar situation. You know what I'm saying? His man had the gun out in his hand. It didn't distinguish the situation. It actually added fuel to the fire. And niggas end up killing some. So, you know what I mean? Think about it. He could have went that route off the rip. His mind off the rip went to kill. How you went to kill? How you? How much hate you had already to kill this man? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Was it the drugs? You had the upper hand to just clear the scene and just say yo chill. You had the upper hand was just like yo bat niggas up and get your dog out of here. Right. Mm -hmm. But you already chose the murder route. Where niggas gonna wicked to be like yo like chill like ice up. 
That ain't even it. when I had a show in North Carolina, I'm even at the show, me, Freddie, everybody. We inside already. <laughs> we leaving now. Niggas like, yo, niggas face fucking presser and Freddie and them. We like, yo, I'm in the front of the line. Like, Whoa. Niggas face fucking presser and Whoa. <laughs> hey, yo, Rowdy. Niggas is fake fucking, face fucking the nigga. Presser, bro, you mean face fighting? The nigga said face fucking. Oh, nah. You wildin'. <laughs> we leaving now. Niggas like, yo. Niggas hey, yo. Fucking no, man. Like, I'm in the front of the line. Let me see what's going on. Fire. I hear one of them like, what? All right, let's, let, let's go to the car. Let's go to the car. Let's go to the car. So he went to walk off. I'm drunk. I grab one. I'm like, yo. Freddy, like, yo. All right, you ready? I'm like, yo, Freddy, chill. Presser, chill. This is my niggas. I'm like, yo, chill. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, bro. Relax. All black. We be in the club. You a little drunk. I'm a little drunk. I'm here to tell you, chill, bro. Relax. It ain't nothing like that. Whatever my son said, I'm here to tell you it's good. Mm. I put my pride to the side. That's I'm, real. I didn't know how we stepping. Just stomp my boy right now. It'll be nothing. Well, honey. But that's like, some real I'm shit. Niggas need to do that more I'm often. I'm clear conscious right now. I don't want to go home like, damn. Yo, what's gonna happen right here? You think the cops gonna be on us? You think, uh huh? Word. I wanna think about you wanna that be before, comfortable. Right? I'm like, yo, chill, bro. Word, it's not you that serious. I'm drunk right now. It'll go down right now, cause I gotta tell my little brother, uh, my little brother gonna step me. Once I, I my, my life, my life in the line, yo, Freddy. What? No, hmm. I control him. Yo, Freddy, chill. Bro, relax. Let's get to a reading and go. Uh -uh. I don't know who this nigga is, but I could tell you. Look at me in my eye. I was like, all right, boy, you got it. He, he walked me back on the bus. Not a problem. He right. just looked at me like, all right, and we were on the bus. That's it. But sometimes it's just like, nigga, you just got to know how to, like, ice your body. Facts. Right. Like, that gangster shit is facade. Like, a gangster to me is like a nigga that's going to stand in front of all y'all right now and tell y'all what it is. Right? Facts. You feel me? And still have that. But y'all don't like me though. <laughs> uh, yeah, like that same. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna take care of responsibility. It's gonna, right. uh, same thing, and it's gonna be the same word. Like, I done met gangsters locked up, bro. Like, real niggas that's, hey, you gangster because you could shoot somebody or kill Facts. Them. Nah, nigga, gangsters Facts. because they stand on their word. Nigga, gangsters because they put their family first. Nigga, gangsters because, like, it's war. You talking that shit. Talking that shit. Bro, so the cops what, nigga? I don't rule me. Yeah, bro. That's a gangster right there, bro. <laughs> gangster, bro. One of my bro. A nigga work in the jails to pay his daughter. Give his like he she stand on a certain code. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying, bro? He stand on a code, bro. A code, bro. That niggas do not stand on, bro. You will see that shit in a movie. My son living it. Hmm. I ain't go front. He was really talking in this shit. This interview right here is epic. I love this shit. For me, and this is the shit that I be trying to tell you niggas, but niggas don't want to listen, you feel me? And the reason why niggas don't listen, I'm not saying that every one of y'all is pussy, but 80% of y'all is pussy. And the ones who gangsta get, get overpowered by the pussy niggas, because so many pussy niggas got things to say. Now, picture it like this. You got 10 homies that's pussy niggas, right? You and three of your other homies is gangster. Now, there's 13 of y'all, right? All the pussy niggas keep talking shit to everybody getting in the shit. Guess what? You gangster, but this your man's. You don't want to see him get hurt, so you defend him. Now you in problems with people because you pussy ass man's. That's why I keep telling y'all niggas, y'all got to check y'all man's because y'all know y'all man's a pussy. If your man's a pussy, you know he pussy, bro. It ain't no guessing, ain't no thinking about it. You know he pussy. So sometimes y'all got to check y'all mans. Like, your mans, the pussy niggas, always be the ones who want to jump out, it, out the window off the rip. You feel me? Everybody is gangster with a gun. Everybody, my nigga. Everybody's gangster with a gun. My nigga, a little kid could make a whole crowd run with one gun. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand this shit, my nigga. Real gangsters move totally different from what y'all niggas think a gangster is. That gra gra boom shit ain't fucking gangster, nigga. Ain't gangster. Gangsters don't tell on themselves, my nigga. Gangsters don't tell on nobody else neither. But this is a lot that's going on right now. Niggas ain't gangster. Niggas, man, like I said in my track, man. 
Being gangster is not an image, it's a lifestyle, you feel me? And you niggas think the lifestyle is, oh, we got to shoot a million niggas or we got to kill a million people shooting crowds. That's not how it go, man. Y'all niggas got to learn. He was talking some real life shit in this shit, man. Y'all niggas better pay attention and listen the fuck up, man. But anyway, man, it's your boy Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you notify every time I drop a new video. If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.